Hey, how you doing? Nope, my name's not Alfred. I'm the lawnmower lady and I like fixing small engines. Today's video is on Honda's latest HRN216 VKAA. It's their newest mower, has a uh, GCV 170 engine on it. It's in for a tune-up today. It has been in the Bat Cave several other times for other things, and I'll send you links for that later on in the video. But today's basic tune-up, air filter, oil change, and spark plug, and hopefully you can keep your mower in tip-top shape. Follow along. Before I get too far into anything, I am gonna remove the spark plug. It's been running just a little while, so it's kind of warmed up. First thing I'm gonna do is change the oil uh, because it, although it looks pretty clean, uh, it's its first oil change and they recommend that you do this within the first few hours. And this conveniently has a sticker on the side that tells you you don't screw in the dipstick all the way. You just push it in and it's, eh, it's right at the, about halfway on the oil mark. So it should be good. It's probably a good thing that we're changing the oil out. And on these newer Hondas, you have a longer dipstick, so you don't make as much of a mess on them when you change out the oil. Just tip it over on its side and let that oil just drain right out. Now, while that oil is draining out, I can check the condition of the blades. I sharpened these the last time I had it, and I think the guy probably hit something. That's why he brought it to me. He thought he hit a stump or something. But the blades don't seem to be too much worse for the wear and they're on tight. The belt is still in good shape. While that oil is still dripping out very slowly, I'm gonna check the spark plug. Okay, this is a 21 millimeter spark plug socket. You can also use a 13 sixteenths. I prefer the magnetic ones. Loosen that. Shouldn't be on there too tight. And uh, this spark plug is a nice chocolatey brown color so it's in good shape we'll check the gap and put that back in i see no reason to mess with this plug all right this is a 0 0.030 feeler gauge and it's got a little bit of slop in there um, you can also use one that looks like this and as you can see just a little past that and if you don't have any of these you can always use like a stanley knife the back side of a stanley knife is 0 0.030 inches so this is a little sloppy. I'm just gonna tap this on a piece of wood just to tighten up that gap just a little bit. And we'll just double check it with a Stanley knife. And uh, might have gone a little too far, but you can get it just right with that Stanley knife blade. So there's no movement in that right now. And go back and look at this guy. And yeah, so he's just barely getting up to 030 inches. So he's good to go. Start this back in by hand. If you use a tool, it's way too easy to cross thread it. Once the plug bottoms out, no more than one quarter of a turn to tighten it down. You're just trying to compress that crush washer. Now that all the oil is drained out, turn this back up on its side. Now I know you can't see this, but there is a lot of fine sparkly stuff in this oil, so this was a good time to change this. Along with the newer design with the longer tube, makes oil changes less messy. Honda has also reduced the capacity of their oil. I have about 12 ounces of oil pre-measured in a jug the older ones took about 16 ounces. And we're gonna pour all this in. This is just 10W30 motor oil. And we're gonna put that in and check the level. And remember, you just put this in till the threads touch. You don't actually screw it in on a Honda. Let's clean that off. And hopefully you'll be able to see Man, I know this is hard for you to see, but the shiny part right there is right at the top of the full line. And that's only about four ounces difference between those two points right there, just on the places where the hash mark is. 
double check that one more time yeah hopefully you can see the shiny part there so we should be good to go and make sure that the inside of the spark plug there's no debris or dirt in there put that back on until you hear that positive click and spark plug is done and lastly we're gonna deal with the air filter push those two tabs in right there and uh eh, it's kind of dirty if it's not too bad you can always just sort of tap the dirt out of it and put it back in i am however going to replace this clean out the inside of the air box try to get as much dirt out of there as possible same thing on this part the new air filter is uh is Honda part number 17211Z8B901. And this fits in with the paper element side out towards you. That should pop in. There are two hinged portions. I should show you that you want to make sure those hook in there. Push your air filter in and snap these two until they snap in so air filter is good while i'm on this side i'm going to lubricate the cable just a little bit operate that a couple times the product i use is called triflow super superior lubricant the bicycle guys use it so if it's good enough for them it's good enough for me same thing on the top end, just a few squirts. The lubricant will work its way down the cable. All right, so I know this thing starts and runs, but of course, it would not be a complete video until you saw it. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fuel tap. Check the drive. Those rear wheels are already looking kind of worn out. I hope this video helps you understand how easy it is for you to maintain your own Honda HRN 216 lawnmower. If this video helped you, push the like button. It helps out the channel a whole lot. I don't know if you noticed at the end there, I uh, made a comment about the wobbly wheels already kind of worn out. Honda made a lot of changes, some good and some bad. I made a video on this change and lots of other things. You can watch that video right here. Mo happy. Today's video is on Honda's newest lawnmower. <coughs> Damn it. God, these spring allergies are just killing me, man.